Hello refining enthusiasts! In the previous part of this video I built the pyrolyzer reactor and in this section I'll be constructing the condenser and running the reactor. I'm using two empty refrigerant cylinders to build the cyclone and condenser. I brace the 1 inch pipe into the center of the tank to serve as the outlet. I welded a 2 inch pipe with a flange on the other side to connect it to the reactor. Two 1 inch pipes were brazed in parallel into the gas tank to form the condenser, with the collector and discharge tap at the end. One inlet and one outlet were braced for water cooling system. At the end I welded the cyclone and condenser together. I know this may not be a perfect build, but I really hope this works perfectly. So let's fire it up and find out how it's going to work. Before that, there is one point that I'm not sure about it. If I need to insulate the signal to keep the char and condensed oil separated in two different chambers, or it's just good to run as it is. So share your ideas in the comments and let me know which one is the best to do about it. Then I fill the reactor with some PCBs to start the process. Then I flush the system with carbon dioxide gas from a fire extinguisher. And I set up a water pump to circulate water within the condenser. Then I turn on the heating torch, which was fired using natural gas. This design is inspired by the rocket stove, which heats the materials from the core.
The fuel oil was collected from the condenser and cyclone. Finally, it was time to open the reactor and check the PCBs. They look good and are ready for metal recovery. I decided to test metal recovery from the PCBs, so the first step was to grind them. To do this, I switched the mill machine from the chain blades to hammer blades. Next, I panned the ground materials to see if I could recover metals through the gravity separation. It was easy to wash the material, which mostly contained copper aligned with some tin and aluminum, and traces of gold and silver. In the end, I decided to test if I could burn the obtained pyrolysis oil. I'll be making more gold recovery videos using this pyrolysis unit. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.